so here's a time-lapse view on creating this animation in Adobe Animate. So I'm going to start out with just a simple underdrawing and be able to sketch on a first layer. And we're doing this campfire scene, so I'm just going to put in some logs and some other shapes that I can throw a coat of paint on. Then I'm going to give myself a really rough perspective grid. Then I'm going to create a little bit of a campfire scene, put some rocks, uh, you know, roughly in a kind of circular pattern around this. Then I'm just going to reframe my sketch a little bit. And then I'm actually just going to dive right into a first pass of doing the fire. So I'm using the insert blank keyframe command to just do a straight ahead animation and just create a blank keyframe and then turn on onion skinning to be able to see the previous drawing and then just go ahead and keep it uh, pretty mild. So, you know, we, we're not going to do but about 10 drawings here. So I'm keeping these all pretty close together. So it's not going to be too crazy but it's just gonna give me that kind of uh, broad wiggle of a fire that I'm kind of looking for as a first shape and then also as a guide to be able to create uh, other layers of texture and color. So you can see, you know, 10, 15 minutes of work, come up with a fun little uh, bit of movement. I'm gonna turn the looping on and then take a look and see how this part is looking. I think that looks pretty good. Now, the next thing I wanna do is just kind of add some more shapes. And this is what I also really like to do with Adobe Animate is just put a layer of using just the polygon tool and a slightly opaque shape Then I'm going to create another layer and then really just do three different poses on each of these shapes by quickly dividing it up. Then I'm going to add another layer and go through and try to add a bit of a graphical treatment by just grabbing a yellow brush and doing kind of a rough pattern there, kind of a sketch on all, you know, 10 of my frames. And basically I'm just starting to stack together kind of colors and values and lines uh, to create this kind of interesting fire effect. And you can see I'm using the larger polygon shape to just create kind of like a, a graphical glow. Uh, now I'm gonna try to dress this scene up by creating some layers underneath and quickly adding kind of a coat of paint, doing a quick painting where I'm just gonna throw a couple different values and just try to think about the fact that, you know, the light source is coming from the middle. So I'm gonna have some of the lighter values in the center uh, and some of these darker values on the outside. And then doing uh, the same thing here with my rocks, just choosing a complement to all the oranges and the reds that I have in the middle of the scene and using uh, some green colors on these objects here just to create uh, a little bit better of a color scheme. And I'm essentially just doing all the painting, the kind of underpainting on a single layer and just keeping it really rough because this is kind of just a rough uh, animation test here. So some lighter values on the top um, and on the faces that are oriented towards this kind of light source in the middle. So I'm just adding a, a couple little details here and there and uh, I'm good with this kind of rough perspective start turning all these layers back on. Then I'm gonna add a camera and start to reframe the scene, reframe the artwork a bit. And that's a really useful feature that Animate gives us here. But I'm gonna to continue to try to improve the painting by adding some more details, adding a bit of a wood grain pattern, a very graphical wood grain pattern to the logs, uh, just to kind of dress it up a little bit, make it look a little bit more developed. And to me, this is really fun to do in Adobe Animate because we're working in vectors, so it has a kind of illustrator feel, but we also have this great timeline. Um, so I'm trying to add some more graphical, you know, almost comic book-like, uh, you know, treatment to, to the kind of painting I have going here. The next thing I'm doing is I'm adding uh, some yellow highlights to the interior surfaces of these rocks, and then I want to go in and erase uh, and just do like four or five different frames of a kind of animated texture just so it makes it look like there's a little bit of wiggle and, and you're bringing the scene to life a little bit more. So that's what I'm doing here very quickly. Then I'm going to add a background. You know, we're just trying to pick some, some colors that all work together here. First pass, not so good. I think adding a bit of that purple is nice against the, the green rocks that we have. So settling on, you know, a, a much uh, more purple and pink kind of environment, which I think looks cool. And then I'm gonna add another layer and just do, use the brush tool. So you can hit B to use the brush tool and then K to use the fill tool. And I'm just gonna create a highlight around where the fire is that has some wiggle as well. So I'm just doing three uh, different shapes here. And then those are on a loop. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use that original 
sketch guide of the flames themselves and go ahead and do a, a quick pass of adding in a fill. So again, B for the brush tool and then K to fill the shape. So I'm quickly creating these vector shapes that are gonna live underneath the drawing so I can be a little bit rough, but this will just give me a little bit more to work with as I'm building my, you know, kind of animated fire illustration here in the center of the shot. So you can see uh, I'm just using insert blank keyframe. So I'm just doing straight ahead animation, uh, painting it in from scratch on each one. It doesn't take that long. Then I'm gonna set the layer to multiply. So it kind of blends in with my other graphical elements. Then I decided I wanted to tone down the, the red polygon. So I just went in and hit it with an eraser just to take a little bit of, of the focus off of that and see if that could kind of set it in with the other elements that I have a little bit better. Uh, now I'm gonna just do a quick darker value pass, a very kind of uh, sketch-like darker value, kind of a shadow pass. And I'm gonna do uh, a couple of different drawings here. I'm gonna work on twos or threes here uh, and go through and add a little bit more. There I'm gonna add some shadowing to where the logs are just to kind of ground that center element a little bit better. And you can see just being rough with the painting, I uh, wanted to have a very kind of rough sketch feel, hit it with an eraser to clean it up a little bit, then add a little bit of shadowing uh, to kind of accentuate, you know, this light source coming out of the middle. You know, gonna put these in really, really dark and then kind of pull those back and then just add some quick fun, uh, you know, third layer kind of stuff, add a little bit of detail all the way in the background to kind of uh, complete the, the perspective of the shot. Then I thought it'd be fun to add kind of a bird animation. So I'm gonna do again, a straight ahead animation, creating blank keyframes with the onion skins on. And so I'm gonna do two birds. The first bird, I'm gonna do a more dynamic uh, kind of wing flapping animation. You can see, you know, just a dot with a line, just focusing on the silhouette. Uh, and then the second bird I figured could be just a little bit more kind of soaring along and a little bit smaller. So just making the drawing a little bit larger, keeping it pretty close together. I just want it to feel like this smooth silhouetted element coming in. Uh, and again, the bird on the left is doing kind of a flap. The bird on the right's just kind of soaring in. So I get a little bit of, of contrast in those shapes. And you can see, you know, really fun, doesn't take more than a few minutes. Then I'm gonna add a motion tween to the camera just to treat it a little bit more like a filmic shot. And there you can see, we got the birds, we got this graphical fire, we've got this little camera move, uh, and we've got a really fun, you know, little kind of live storyboard color key here in Adobe Animate.